The first thing is job creation itself. That is the big challenge because even with high growth rates, we haven't seen adequate jobs being created, which is the unfortunate reality in which India and South Asia is in. So clearly, we need to start having very committed and clear policy directions, both at the macro level and also at very sectoral level, to try and plan for employment generation. So for instance, in India, we don't have an employment policy. There was thinking about drafting an employment policy, which the ILO with the Ministry of Labor and Employment were trying to get together to work on. But it's still in the draft stage. And there is no employment policy as such. So we have a national manufacturing policy. We have a skill development mission, on the other hand. We have a few sectoral policies which have come in place, which are talking about employment generation, which is good. But unless we have more of these in place and we actually make them effective, I can't see how more jobs are going to be created. Because we have to start planning for employment now as we did in the past with human development concerns to some extent, and education is a good example, over the last 10 years or so, from 2000 onwards, with the universal elementary education and the Sarva Siksha Abhyan in India, we focused on education exclusively. And that has really led to certain kinds of improvements in education. There are still quality challenges, but that has improved the education scenario. Similarly, I think we need to start planning for employment and employment generation, which is of the appropriate kind in terms of the returns and also the working conditions for workers.